Uh, hello there people, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General. So we are done with Middle East, <coughs> sorry for my voice, it's, it is completely broken, always happens during the weekend. Uh, this is the African campaign and um, now we will lose the Middle East on purpose. First I will show you what happens after a minor victory, of course, but otherwise we will lose, you know, to... X is minor victory. Go on, go on. So, we get to Caucasus. We do not have a choice now for Sea Lion 43, but I believe that uh, not I believe, I read it, you know. <laughs> I'm not that smart. If we win El Alamein uh, with a major victory, then we go to... We can go to Sea Lion 43. This is Caucasus. Stalingrad... <coughs> oh, sorry. With our units uh, deployed here in the south. However, we are not interested in... Uh, you know, here I tried <laughs> to save something, but uh, the problem was I kept uh, hidden units off, you know, since on the very last turn I actually, you know, um, forgot uh, to turn them on again, so not good. <laughs> so we'll go back. No, I do this uh, in the end, uh, do not hold it against me, since I do not do it uh, during the game. So now we'll just take over the non-victory objective, save the game, it could as well be L001. Why L? Because I hate spelling L a la main. <laughs> and now we'll end the game and lose. So it is allied victory, mm. sorry I have to blow my nose, this time no blood please, okay, ah, we can save it again, ah, okay, excellent. So because of our failure in the Middle East, now the British has forced us to abandon Egypt and we have a front at Gazala, and now we have to destroy the British. Um, this is basically it. If we do a major victory, then of course we can attempt uh, an invasion of England uh, in 1943. A whole year lost, you know, so. Um, this is not the best way if you want, you know, to um, to actually go to America uh, with your units in the best shape. <coughs> now, how to play it? This game, I mean, uh, this uh, scenario. <laughs> um, you place your Panzer 4Ds here and Panzer 3Js here. The enemy has a large fleet and uh, the city of Tobruk and its surroundings are heavily fortified and uh, also the enemy has plenty of good quality tanks. So, this is what we'll do. Perhaps we can s start in the south, you know. Um, One, two, three, four tanks here. Panzer for this will go here. Two, three, um, one, two, three, four, five. Engineers in the middle. Five, six, seven. 
and of course the airplanes um, fighters are also useful for their scouting capabilities so we place them now we have all elite fighters except for this one uh, which we have purchased in the Middle East, you know, so uh, there are many ways, uh, you know, to actually deal with this scenario, but I prefer uh, the brute force approach. <laughs> so <laughs> we save on L001 and I need a little pause because I want some war some warm coffee you know um, to bring me back perhaps even my voice <laughs> I will be right back uh, yo I'm back um, just wanted to say if you play this um, as a scenario you know not in the campaign mode it is a good idea to take your time since you have I think 25 turns to win it uh, here behind the lines we again have some Italian allies and uh, okay, Italian camp also and some German infantries which we will again send by transports but this time we will have to be more careful I will show you why the enemy has uh, a large air fleet some are stationed here some here and also here uh, near Cairo so you know uh, if you're not careful with your air transports they will shoot you down also look at the fleet and <laughs> also look at the huge army uh, around the city of Tobruk El Alamein is actually um, weakly defended But it makes sense, you know, to establish a defensive line here, since it cannot be bypassed. It, there is rough desert and also escarpments that no ground unit can get across. Uh, so this is it. Uh, did you see everything? I hope you did. Now we'll turn it off and not turn it on until the very last turn or you know whenever the battle will finish okay we'll scout with our submarines otherwise our fleet uh, the, uh, otherwise our fleet the rest of the fleet will retreat uh, for the time being so uh, we see a t-boat and we see a destroyer a destroyer and t the destroyers and T-boats are the only units that can actually harm our subs so it is always a good idea to destroy them as soon as possible yeah we have mm, an air defense here but we'll attack it so die you bastard very good now we see more we see a light cruiser and we have this excellent Italian level bomber so we'll use it for the light cruiser so the idea is you know to actually to take your time not to rush, you know, into things uh, too soon. But as this is a campaign, and I have plenty of elite tactical bombers, I will take some risks to get rid of the air defenses. Die. If only. 
Once I could fire first, you know, I do not understand this logic. When I'm defending and the allies are attacking, they fire first very often. Yeah, at the same time at least, thank you. So if we, uh, if you know, uh, our army uh, would have uh, elite level bombers, we would use them, you know, but other, but now, uh, you know, we have tactical bombers and we are stuck with them. Excellent, and now we'll bomb the shit out of the enemy. Perhaps we can use our tactical bombers. Yeah, we'll use our tactical bombers against soft targets. Uh, it is a better idea, I think. Oh, with the strength of one, you bastard. But you know, we have to get rid of the artilleries and tactical bombers work best against them. <coughs> Fuck you! Sorry, folks. Oh, uh, now for some fighters. We'll attack this Matilda uh, to, you know, to do some damage and scout also. And Matilda can and will fire back. This is one of uh, the things I was always, you know, uh, a bit curious about. Has an air attack of one Matilda, but is notorious for shooting down my airplanes, uh, starting in France and then, you know, uh, or maybe low countries, I'm not sure. Okay, we have another air defense to destroy, uh, and this one has an entrenchment of five, but it should still go our way. Firing at the same time, excellent. Almost perfect. So, tactical bombers, do your thing. will suffer some casualties on the first turn. This cannot be avoided, you know, if we choose a straight-on approach. Now I think... We have attacked all the units uh, that, you know, we had to. ourselves a you know a s passage here um, near the coastline so we can also attack the artilleries by our tanks and entrenchment of three okay and the rest of our tactical bombers will attack the tanks especially those who cannot fire back and this grant is such a case, you know. And 
and so is this one. Now we have an Italian fighter that is actually somewhat comparable with Messerschmitt 1 of 9, it's called Maki, not a bad fighter. Now we advance with our bridge engineers, which will be targeted, you know, but still. to create, you know, um, a position where uh, these infantries, uh, British infantries, will have to surrender because they cannot retreat. But this is easier said than done, so... Or maybe not. Why bother, actually? advance bastard and you advance retreated. Now we'll attack this inf. And destroy it. Now for this air defense. And now we also take out the artilleries. First this one and then, you know. So much for defenses around Tobruk. of three attack mm, some bad deployment on my part sorry mm. we can at least strafe this inf for a better result 
Wow. That was perfect. And now we'll strafe this Matilda as well. Again, shooting down our airplanes. But we have some very good tanks in the area and we'll use them. tank ah fuck I hate when this happens attack attack this grand and now we finish off this inf it is kind of risky because of this tank but we'll strafe it Die. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, this wasn't good. Now we save the game on L. L002 uh, and now we have to find um, uh, the enemy's um, airplanes so we'll fly here strafe mosquito but we do not want to attack a mosquito since we know that it is supported by fighters so we'll fly here and destroy speed 2 Now speed VB and two more air units to destroy now this tactical bomber and in the end mosquito.
very nice it has survived but you know it will die very soon and now we actually retreat our fleet no it would be a good idea to use our fleet you know for offensive purposes but uh, the British fleet is of better quality and I do not want to lose a unit so yeah this is what you get <laughs> go into an air transport fly here south you too and these units can advance we have two more bridge engineers one will go here no just to provoke these tanks to attack and another one will go here really yeah the matilda will attack but then we are also close to you know to um the victory objective of tobruk so yeah will suffer some casualties but will be in a position to do some more damage on the next turn which I think will be the last one for this video I'm not yet sure you can start moving forward but not in a transport you know uh, otherwise we could easily be destroyed we have two core units to purchase uh, perhaps two more tanks but we have like nine tanks I think so hmm. or maybe one tank and one tactical bomber uh, yeah, not sure. Purchase. Yeah, one tank and one tactical bomber. Here where it is safe but we know that there are no British units around so perhaps okay here now we save the game L3 and give the enemy its turn weather fair and dry okay These battleships are good enough to actually damage our tanks, which is bad. Holy shit! Ah, he has purchased some hurricanes. <laughs> Very good. 
Great job, engineers. Excellent. So it is X is turn two. Wow, a new tank and a new fighter. Now this one is actually better than Messerschmitt 109, but still inferior to Focke Wolf. So, okay, we save the game. L. 004 just wanted to check something okay uh, I guess this is fine yeah uh, I will have to study the battlefield and be right back yo I'm back uh, so now we'll have to deal with the battleships which are the most dangerous units of the British Navy. I'm not impressed by this result. And also not impressed by this one. Now we'll use our tactical bombers to finish off the fleet, at least some of them. Die. And now a fighter. to show you uh, you see the enemy has obviously plenty of prestige and purchasing units like crazy and our poor tank <laughs> you know oh <laughs> uh, yeah we have another fighter yeah so we'll use it now please die T-boat Excellent Now we'll destroy uh, This air defense And then Oh, fire in first, excellent And then retire our tactical bomber least for a while but it is close you know if we need it okay now this is a rookie tactical bomber so we'll use it for this inf that cannot fire back Do we want to attack? Well, actually yes. I think we should use our elite tactical bombers to sink the British fleet. Ouch! Also this one this is a battleship and here is a battle cruiser so a battleship is you know one mean mother f you know what I mean
Wow, excellent result. Time to save. <laughs> L005 What to do with you? Hurricane, but this is actually a tactical bomber, yeah. So we'll attack it and fly forward to scout. So here it is safe, nothing close, nothing, 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 again nothing, you know I'm looking for uh, enemy's aircraft. Ah, I have already checked this field. So nobody in range, really? No, I was expecting some Ah, ha, ha, here you are. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we have more units to slaughter. I'm always happy about it. Okay. So. You can attack this hurricane. We need to clear our way, you know, for our fighters to engage uh, the newly arrived, you know, RAF. Die! Where are our fighters? Do we still have some fighters? Yeah. You can fly here. Very good. And... Perhaps our Maki can deal with this mosquito. Come on. Very nice. And now we have three fighters available to deal with the newcomers. So, die. And you too.
So again, mos the mosquito has survived, but it is boxed in, so we'll destroy it on the next turn. Uh, we don't have any more elite tactical bombers. Uh, that can be a problem. So we'll use our level bomber. Ah, perfect! Now even this Maki is safe. Suppression of 3. Okay. So now, my Italian friend, you can start attacking the sub. And it dives, of course it does. Stupid sub. You fly here to strafe. No result whatsoever. Very nice. <laughs> and now for... Uh, oh, shit. I forgot about this one. Oh, what the fuck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you... Ah. Uh, now I'm mad. Here. Now we destroy the steward. another fighter so I guess we can strafe this tank here okay Tactical bomber. Some losses are expected since this British heavy weapons infantry has actually three stars of experience. It still went our way. Very good. And now for the remaining forces defending Tobruk. Do we have anything else in the air department? No. Well, we have this air transport. <laughs> Just fly here. Take care of them, Stefan. They are very vulnerable. <laughs> Advance. 
and you too. One, two, three. It has a movement of three, so it's okay. attack the subs no not now but on the next turn I hate subs time to save the game and as I desperately need to pee I will now take a little pause ah uh, yo I'm back Ah, uh, where were we? Ah, uh, so now we'll have to, you know, crush the units that are defending Tobruk. But first we'll deal with this tank. Or no, maybe with, we'll deal with the Grand first. Very nice. Now, this one. Uh, 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 not sure. Here. Okay. And now we destroy. Oh firing at the same time. Bad. Uh, but we did okay. So, okay. Die Matilda. We are all always dancing with Matilda, you know. Die. You die as well. You just have to laugh, you know. Um, the engineers, they are so high quality that, that, that ca they can actually destroy a tank. Now we'll attack this inf. Ah! Holy shit. Five stars versus one star entrenchment of two, and we still get rugged defense. Fuck you! Attack again. Very good. Entrenchment of five, also entrenchment of five, so... Oh! Yeah, it is fair, actually. Uh, entrenchment of five and three stars of experience, so... Yeah, it is fair, but we have to do it. Ah, but... It's not fair for you to fire first. Bastard. At least we have forced the units to retreat. Mm. 
zero experience arrangement of six ah hell I hate you know uh, this uh, new units they come as reinforcements but they are a liability not to help you know so I wish I could have more air units but no mm. okay attack no 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 I'm afraid to attack actually okay you can attack come on some good luck for the dead guy <laughs> Okay. Now. Now you can attack, I think. Or maybe you. First, I think we can soften up this um, British Heavy Weapons Infantry just a little bit uh, what is this a light anti-tank gun with hard attack of 13 yeah we should survive okay attack Nice. Uh, stats for this Italian and I think should work. But perhaps we can use a tank why not perfect now we use our rookie tank And ah, too risky. Trenchment of six. So we'll attack the battleship. and just take over the city of now a dog is barking outside you can perhaps even hear him oh Ow! and he has responded a very smart dog Okay, we take over the city of Tobruk and also bring our anti-tank closer and the infantry as well. Oh. Poor 
doggy. Somebody has chained him, you know, here. Um, it is not very hot, but I think he feels lonely. Lonely, I'm doggy lonely. I have nobody of my own. And this is why I do. Arr! Never mind. Um, let us end this turn. And I want to do another one. I if it will be a very long video, then I will, you know, just make uh, two parts of it. Okay, the enemy's turn. Exist turn three. Time to save the game. And the dog is the dog is still barking. What has happened? Well, nothing much. We have more units to destroy. Okay, uh, be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. So more of the enemy's air units have arrived. So the first thing we have to do is to destroy them. Ah, it is it is a battle cruiser. This is why I actually get some good results by attacking them with the fighter so yeah why not attack Out. Ah, two more. Uh, now we can use our sub, or maybe no. Actually, we'll use our tactical bomber, and subs will no. Subs will focus on the battleship. Where is our level bomber? Here. Deck. This air defense is now fully suppressed. And without ammo. Perfect. Okay. So let us destroy the battleship. Very nice. Again. Please stop barking too much for me. I actually feel sorry for the dog, you know. Come on. Some damage, please. Yes! Perfect! Strength of 7. Can we attack? Yeah, we can, but, you know, we do not dare, so, just come closer, and you, and you, and you, and also you. Okay. 
one, two, three. It can attack, but we are not in the spotting range, so probably everything will be okay. You just keep on flying across the desert, and you too. And the last of our infantry will go here. Uh, the rest of our infantry, uh, of course, I mean those who are going uh, east in the air transports. Perhaps it is time to save again. So Tobruk is ours. No question about it. Where are our fighters? Here. So first we'll destroy a Spitfire. Spitfire 9. Ah! Now this is the first unit that can actually uh, do some serious damage to the Focke Wolf. Of course if it fires first, but it is highly unlikely. And now it's gone. Excellent. I need more fighters. Not you. You may, of course, attack um, this tactical bomber, or is it a level? Tactical bomber, okay. Starts of experience, and now we see a level bomber. It is quite obvious that the Brits have plenty of prestige. Hmm. Okay, a fighter. You can attack. Here. Matilda one. Nice, nice, very nice. Now we destroy this mosquito. which is again indestructible more scouting I guess there are no more RAF units in the area attack <coughs> Sorry. only scouting for <coughs> more enemy sorry we're only scouting for more enemy air units <coughs> sorry I need a little pause be right back uh, yo I'm back uh, sorry guys really if I do not quit smoking very soon <laughs> this LP will come you know to the abrupt end uh, <sighs> okay enough 
about my problems where were we so yeah we were destroying the RAF which is always nice you know um, three more airplanes first we'll deal with the Spitfire Good. Now, for this uh, tactical bomber, also good. And do we have a fighter to finish off a mosquito? We do. Yeah, we do. And this is probably it for the RAF, I think. I'm just being, you know, too careful and... What the hell? You know, if we lose, if we lose a unit because of my actions... Uh, it is war, for goodness sake. We should lose a unit sometimes. Die air defense. Very nice. Uh, will we get lucky with the sub? No. Ah, hell. And the turn for our elite tactical bomber wasted because the sub just, you know, well, died. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. Italian fighter. You can fly here. Tank. Okay. Finish the job. Very nice. Oh, our rookie fighter will try to destroy this British inf. Oh, excellent. And very good for experience. Almost 50. Way to go. Entrenchment of 3. Really? And also here entrenchment of three. So, yeah. Attack. Entrenchment of seven. Good. have anything else in the air department? No. No. Okay, so 
bridge engineers this large this anti-tank gun not happening at least this inf die but really no more airplanes Ah, shit. So, if we win, we can advance, otherwise we'll be blocked. Ah, fuck you! Bastard! Rugged defense. Okay. But we can advance. Excellent. So... So one, two. Maybe it will work. Yeah, now I'm sure. No more airplanes. Come on! Blood is up, you know, it's blocking our... Just tell me something. I understand about the zone of control, but a submerged sub is actually blocking our ground units. This is just stupid, in my honest opinion. Okay, you can get a lead. You advance, you, adv you advance. <laughs> we had another. Oh my god. I'm such an idiot, really. Ah, but. No, n nothing but. We had the unit. Actually, I had a unit to use, but I didn't use it. Just perfect. Let us strafe this inf. Advance. 
advance and you can also advance okay uh, time no not time to save time to give the enemy its turn nothing happened excellent so let us save L010 uh, thank you for watching this all the best from Mr. Critic and bye bye